Kia ora, Year 12. This is a locus question for Satak, and it's got two parts to it. The first part is pretty straightforward, and the second part is definitely at the trickier end of A-level problems. It's also a pattern that comes up over and over, so I'm going to do this video really, really slowly. So if it's too slow for you, just put me on to double speed. So let's first look at the first part. On an argon diagram, sketch the locus representing complex number Z that satisfy this condition. And sketch the locus representing complex numbers W satisfying this condition. So far so good, right? We'll get to that in a second. Then we have to find the least value of Z minus W distance modulus for points on these loci. In other words, we're going to find two things, two lines, and then we have to figure out the minimum distance between those two lines. So if you're lucky, you're going to have not to give anything away, suppose we've got two shapes. The minimum distance if this one is Z and this one is W is pretty obviously going to be here or here, and that minimum distance is going to be zero. Sadly, that's not the situation we're dealing with in this question, but actually it, it makes it a much more fun problem. So first what I want you to do is to pause the video and try to work out those two loci, the Z and the W loci, and I want you to draw a really good picture. Okay, now because we're doing A level here, not NCA level three, it's fine to do um, to go straight to the geometry of the locus. You don't have to let z equal x plus i y. So I'm going to start here by doing a bad graph, and then I've got a, a nice GeoGebra one on the next page. So we know here that this locus z plus i equals one is the equation of a circle, and the radius of the circle is one. And the center is going to be at 0 minus i, so down here. So let's mark in very roughly which points are on my circle. And now I'm going to try and draw a circle, but I'll do it freehand. So there's a bad looking circle, but you get the, oh, that's nice. That made it a beautiful circle straight away. Good. Okay, so here's my center of my circle. The next locus is going to be a half line. So it's the angle. Um, so the W minus 2 bit tells me that I'm starting out here at 2, and the angle is 3 pi on 4. So that's 135 degrees. So this is a backwards 45 degree line, if that makes any sense. So the half line is going to go like that. And you can see our problem. We need to find the lowest value for points on those loci, and they don't intersect. So on this slide, I'm going to start by playing around and seeing what the wrong answer is. So let's take our ruler, and this is a good strategy for when you're stuck, and let's just draw in some bad lines. So here, that's definitely not the shortest distance between those two points. Let's keep going. Hmm, that's better. That's better again. But the trouble I've got is that I don't really have a way yet to think about where this point on the edge of the circle might be. So what you should be able to see, though, is that the shortest distance is definitely going to be somewhere where we've got, let's just try and get it dead right, the shortest distance between W and Z is going to be somewhere where it hits the locus at 45 degrees, right? So we can get rid of some of these ones because these are just not going to work. So we want to be finding this, this line here will give us the shortest distance where it's perpendicular to my half line. And if that's not making any sense, take your ruler and with your diagram and just play around with it. The problem with doing it that way, though, is that we don't really have a way to figure out which point it's going to hit at, right? Because there are an infinite number of lines where it could be perpendicular. So working instead with the center of the circle is going to make life much, much better. And here's why it works. If we think about the center of the circle, then we can ask ourselves, what's the closest point, what's the, the shortest distance from the center of the circle to this line here? Now that isn't what the question's asking for. The question, if this point is O, we're not being asked to find the distance between point O 
and, and the line W. We're being asked to find the distance between Z and the line W. But the really cool thing about it being a circle is that no matter where we are on the circle, we know that we're one unit away from the center. So by minimizing this, all we then have to do is to subtract one from our answer. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that up first and then try and draw the line that's gonna work in next. So we've got our half line, or we had our half line until I deleted it. Let's bring it back. So I'll work with the nice version when I'm nearly at the end. But I, I think it's you're going to do a probably bad graph like this to start with when you play with questions like this. So that's what I'm using as well. So here we go. We've got our center of the circle. Center of the circle is here, and we've got our half line here. So what am I looking for? Well, that line there is not going to be the shortest distance. Neither is that one. Neither is that one. So you can see it's much easier now because I've got this anchoring point. That's not going to be it. As I've already said, it's going to be the line that gives me a 90 degree angle here. Right, so that was a huge amount of talking and I haven't even done the maths, but this pattern is going to come up in lots of these different distance problems. So what can I say about that pink line? Well, we know the equation for the half line is simply y equals negative x plus 2, right? Because this point here is the point 2, 0. And we know that that angle is 3 pi on 4. So it's an 135 degree angle, which means the gradient of the line is just negative 1. So we know that this point up here has got coordinates 0, 2. So the first way that I solved this problem was using a bit of baby coordinate geometry. We know that the gradient of the line joining the center and the half line, so m, the m for the locus is equal to negative 1. So the perpendicular gradient will have to equal positive 1. So we can get the equation for this line, y is equal to 1x minus 1, right? Because we know that that point is here. So this line is y equals x minus 1. And this line is y equals negative x plus 2. So what we're going to find now are the coordinates for this point here. And I'm going to call this point A, and I'm going to put, call this point 0. And I'm going to call this point here, which we don't need to find explicitly, as point B. And so the minimum distance that I'm looking for is AB. And AB is going to equal OA minus OB, which is going to equal OA take away 1. OK, so all I've got to do now is find the coordinates for point A, and then we'll do a tiny bit of Pythagoras. We've got y equals x minus 1, and we've got y equals, what's the other line, negative x plus 2. Now, I apologize, I know some of you watching, including Satak, I know you requested this, you're probably not even watching by now. I'm going really, really slowly on purpose, right? because there are lots of steps here. I need to equate those two lines to find the x coordinates. So we've got x minus 1 is equal to negative x plus 2. That gives me 2x equals 3. x is equal to 3 over 2. Right. So x is equal to 3 over 2, and it's on this line. Or we could do either one. So what's the y value? Well, it's negative 3 over 2 plus 2, which is 1 half. So now we're nearly there. We've got the coordinates for point A. So let's just draw out this triangle here. Bad triangle. The coordinates here are 0, negative 1. Here we've got 3 over 2, 1 half. So this is point A. This is point 0, point O, the center of the circle. So how long is this one? Well, this line is, this segment is 3 over 2. And this one here is also 3 over 2. Um, 
by Pythagoras' theorem, OA is going to equal the square root of A squared plus B squared. So this is the square root of 9 over 4 plus 9 over 4, which is the square root of 18 over 4. Super slow. Square root of 9 over 2, which is 3 over root 2. So that's distance OA. That means that the shortest distance from Z to W is OA. So all of this, which is my 3 over root 2, take away this bit here. So OB is equal to 3 root 2 take away 1. And here's the nice GeoGebra picture here. Right, so you can see it on here. Um, here's my center here. So ruling that in. Here's O, and here's point A, and here's point B. Okay, now there's another way to do this that I think is also really, really nice. That means that you don't have to find the equations of those lines. If you identify that this is the center, and this is your crossing point, then we can do some stuff with um, the particular angles here. So we know that this is 90 degrees, right? Let's call this point up here point C. We know that this angle must be 45 degrees. And we know that because, well, because this angle way back here was 135, right? So working with that, um, we can work that through and we, we can see that that's 45, okay? And that means that we must have a 45 degree angle here. So if you just swivel the screen around, which I would love to be able to do, but I don't know how, then we've got this big triangle here. And so instead of doing all that coordinate geometry, a cooler way to do this question, I think, but probably not how I would do it, we'll probably see this after the exam, but that's not much use. So there's, there's the angle there. We can see this distance here really easily is 3, right? So we've got 45 degrees here, and we've got 45 degrees here. The distance that we want is this one here. So we want to find side OA. So here's O, here's C, and here's A. And we know that that's 3. So we're looking for this length here which is x. So just using SOKATOA, we get sine 45 is equal to x over 3. So x is equal to 3 times 1 over root 2, which is the 3 root 2 we got before. And now again, we want to subtract off that distance of 1. And so we have OB is equal to 3 on root 2 minus 1. So there are two methods to solve that question. Um, I'm sure some of you will have some uh, cooler methods than that. Um, so let me know in the comments or send me an email. Um, thanks for watching.